Hello everyone, this is Namrata. Hope you all are doing good and staying safe. Today we'll be covering another topic in Salesforce called as Salesforce uh, Custom Metadata. Here is the agenda for today's session. We are going to cover what is Salesforce Custom Metadata. How can you create uh, the custom metadata in our Salesforce DevOps? What and all are the different metadata field types that exist in, the, in our Salesforce? And we will uh, also understand certain limitations of custom metadata and then we will get into our demo. So before we get deep dive the custom metadata, let's first understand what is a metadata. Now let us take an example to understand this concept of called as metadata in detail. You have a standard object in Salesforce called as a co contact object, right? In the contact object, you have various fields like you have first name, you have last name, you have a phone number, email, right? So let me walk you through. So these are the fields on the object custom object uh, sorry standard object called as a contact so these fields are these fields are called as the metadata now when we create a records like here you have record one namrita kadiala then you have the phone number and the email this is a record one you have two records right these are called as data so whatever you see here it is a metadata and the actual data is considered as a records that is actual data so this custom metadata it is very similar to what we are talking it is very similar to the custom object in salesforce which is used to define the structure of the application metadata so the fields and the values are metadata only in custom metadata so basically whatever the records you create in custom metadata is also the metadata and it is not a real data so that is not the actual data so in custom metadata there is no concept called as a data everything is considered as a metadata so that is why it is very important that whenever you are um, you you wanted to use any hard-coded values it is always important that you use the custom metadata so rather than storing those hard-coded uh, data you can make use of the custom metadata and this custom metadata it is very easy to do we, you can easily do the deployment of the custom metadata using the chain sets or if you have any third party tool whether it could be gear set or copado or you know any other tool you can easily do the deployment uh, for the uh, you can easily go ahead and do the deployment uh, for the custom metadata so when we use this custom metadata it does not count towards uh, the SOQL uh, query limit. So that is the major advantage of, advantages of using the custom metadata. So you can easily use this custom metadata whenever you write any piece of code using the Apex. So let's uh, go back to our slide deck again. And as I was just talking about, we just talked about what is custom metadata. So these are various types. Uh, you can use the custom metadata types for following, as I was saying, right? Rather than uh, using the hard-coded values, you can use the custom metadata. If you wanted to do any kind of mappings, you can use the custom metadata. You can, uh, you know, anything, cities, states, provinces, any business rules, you can make use of the custom metadata. If you wa want to whitelist anything, you can use the custom metadata. Uh, likewise, According to your business need, you can make use of the custom metadata. You can create the uh, fields and the values in, uh, in the custom metadata. So these are the different field types that are available. It, it supports metadata relationship, checkbox, date field type. You have date and time, email, number, percentage, phone, pick list value, text, text area, and URL. So when you create a custom metadata it ends with like you know whenever you create a custom objects right how does it ends it is the custom object uh, the standard is underscore underscore c likewise whenever you create any custom metadata it ends with underscore underscore m t d now whenever you create any field under this custom metadata you can it it is it is driven by title and i mean this is the field name underscore underscore c so like how you use your um how do you write your SQL queries for the standard objects or the custom object in the same way you can query the custom metadata using the SQL. so i will walk you through all of this what we are described what, whatever we are talking about 
So in the Apex class also, you can make use of this custom metadata. We'll talk about the limitations uh, once we get into our demo. So let's log in into my Salesforce DevOps. I've already logged in into my Salesforce DevOps. And uh, from the setup, let me, from the setup, search for the custom metadata. Here you can see under the custom code, you have the custom metadata types, right? Click on custom metadata. So here it is clearly telling me what exactly is the custom metadata. Custom metadata types enables you to create your own set up objects whose records are metadata rather than the data. And uh, this doesn't count under the SOQN limit. So here you can see I've created two custom metadata records here. So let's uh, check this one. If you want to create a new custom metadata, you have to click on the new and just give the details here. Like you see, what is the label name? Update the plural label name. What is the object name? And then here it is asking me to give the visibility. You can choose any of these values according to your business uh, use case. It is always preferred to use this because it is something which can be, it can be accessed in all the Apex code and APIs can use this custom metadata type. Click on save. Once you create a custom metadata, these are the standard fields which are, update, which are showing here. We have the created by, you have custom metadata record name, what is the label, last modified by, namespace, producted component. And you can go ahead and create a field. It's as I was mentioning, right? It is similar to how you can create your custom object. So in the custom object, you give the label name, you give the API name. Then you come and choose, uh, create a field and choose the field types, right? Same way, you come to the custom, whenever you create a custom metadata, you, can, you have to create a custom fields as well. So here I've created a custom field here. And I've just given the name. So let's go back, try to create a new custom field. I'm choosing the value as text. Country. Length. 255. You know, just a random, always required. Click on next and it is by default added to the custom metadata demo layout. Click on save. Once you create the fields, you have to create the data here. Manage custom metadata. Here I've already given one. So let's try to edit it. Test. Test. Title, I'm giving it as United States. Country, I'm giving it as USA. Click on Save. So you went ahead and created a record. So how can you query this custom metadata using your SOQL? So let's go back here. Click on the refresh. Same way how we were querying, exporting uh, the custom data, custom objects or the standard object, right? In the same way, you can query the custom metadata uh, records as well. So here you have the title, title, custom metadata. Then you have country, right? Click and click on export. So here it is giving me those details. So if at all you wanted to use this um, SOQL query, uh, sorry, uh, this custom metadata in the Apex class, you can easily, when uh, you can make use of this custom metadata, that API name, uh, which is ending with MDT, uh, you can use it in the list and then write down your select query. Select whatever the fields you have, title, uh, country from the custom metadata. In the same way, whatever you write it, normal uh, custom objects, how do you retrieve it You in the Apex class? In the same way, you can use the custom metadata as well. 
so let's talk about what and all are the certain limitations of uh, the custom meta uh, data fields per custom meta data type or record it is 100 this is the, the limitation that is basically you can create only 100 fields per custom meta data type global pick list values are not supported uh, custom meta data types per organization you can have maximum up to 200 right characters per description field is 1000 records written per transaction is 50000 uh, custom meta da uh, metadata type formula references allowed in the process builder it is only 15 and then for the long test area fields also there is certain limitation so these are the limitations of the custom meta data uh, now uh, if you have seen right in my previous slide in an apex class how can you write uh, how can you use the custom metadata we just uh, i just showed you right however as a part of the sprint 21 um, release we no longer need to write an SOQL query to access the custom metadata records in the Apex class. So basically, we can simply call using get all, um, get all query. That is something which you can use it in your Apex class, and then you will be able to query the records related to the custom metadata. And this custom metadata, you can easily go ahead and do the deployments using the chain set tool however i in this specific org i don't have the chain sets available but this particular whenever you create any custom metadata the custom metadata will be you can easily do the deployment using the chain sets um i will open up my uh, different org and i will try to um, uh, show you how you can do the deployment of uh, custom metadata in the another video so that is what we have for today's session i hope you uh, you got some idea about what is custom metadata, um, how can you create the custom metadata and limitations of custom metadata. Until we come up with our next video session, please do, please do take care of yourself. Signing off yours, Namrita Karyala. Bye-bye.